Hey friend, God bless you. It's Kevin here. I feel led to share a powerful dream with you that I had recently. And I typically don't share a dream because I really believe that it requires proper interpretation with wisdom on understanding because sometimes a dream could pertain to you personally regarding the region and the ministry or is for public consumption. In this case, I felt led by the Lord to share this dream with you because I believe it's related to many in the body of Christ, specifically for those who are the trailblazer, pioneers, and forerunners that has been faithful and walking with the Lord. And, and this dream I had is that I was bored, I was aboarding a huge cruise ship. It was a massive cruise ship. It was beautiful cruise ship. I, I didn't, in the dream, I did not see, you know, what kind of cruise ship is it, like, you know, in the natural, what brand of cruise ship. Although the color and the shape of the cruise ship looked like a Disney cruise ship. It, there, I did not see any Disney logo in the dream at all. But the color scheme of the ship, the bulk of the hull is this dark royal navy blue color. It was beautiful. And it has trimming, like a gold trimming around the ship. And the very bottom of it, it was the red, right? The very classic red. And a part of the top of the ship was all painted white. It was a beautiful ship. And as we onboard the ship in the cell, we all, we all were gathered in the dining hall area. So there was a small group of us. And what I mean by small, I would say no more than 150 people max. Maybe a little bit over 100 people. And we're all gathered in this dining hall waiting for the crew to take us to the sign room that we were supposed to be. And it was taking a long time. For whatever reason, there was seeing, we couldn't see much crew member on the ship. It, it looked like they were operating with the skeleton crew, which is like limited number of crew number on the ship in itself. We're not sure why, but everybody was waiting and people were getting anxious because it was taking an extra long time. It's like, what's going on? Why nobody's coming to bring us to our assigned rooms? And I can see some of the people is getting really anxious, worry, concerned. Some of them probably was getting a little bit even angry and frustrated in the scene. And all of a sudden, the scene changed from dining hall to the top deck of the ship. So all of a sudden, everybody is in the top deck of the ship, which usually, if you've been on cruise ship, top deck is where all the outdoor amenities, where the pool typically is at. So suddenly, we're outside. And I can see at the horizon, and I don't know if I, I will probably is the only one seeing it for some reason in the dream. I can see a, a, a almost a wall, right? Look like a wall uh, on the, at the horizon, like far away. I was like, well, I don't know if this is a wave coming. It looked like maybe a wave coming our way. But it was so far away and it looked very, very actually, it didn't look very big. It looked kind of small. So, well, I know this may be some wave, but I think the ship decides, you know, easily be able to withstand it. It shouldn't be an issue. Then the wave suddenly got much closer, right, in a, in a probably a blinking of eyes. And all of a sudden I realized, oh, my God, this is a tidal wave. This is, this is a tsunami. Then all of a sudden I start just shouting, warning people, say, you know, get to safety, get inside, lock the door, lock the bulkheads, right, to seal the water out. Basically tell them to get to safety. And me, and when I start shouting, a few others also start echoing and shouting and getting people to safety. So we're trying to help people to get to safety, get inside the ship to, to, to you know, close the, the watertight doors. And all of a sudden, for some reason, now after I helped some film folks escape, then I went into an indoor area. I, all I remember was I went indoor indoor area, right? Then I went up and under. It's almost I went into a complete separate compartment. And all of a sudden, I was in this room, this area that I know was safe, but it was like almost like a, you know how a, a deep sea submarine that have the dome that you can see outside completely, but withstand we're able to withstand the pressure because of the deep sea submarine. All of a sudden, I'm in a enclosure like that, like a dome, right? Then I can see everything around me, but I can tell I'm in a very super secure area. And the wave crashed, right? As soon as I got into that place, I saw the wave crash against the ship. And the wave just kind of engulfed over the ship, right, in itself. But I was completely safe. I, I didn't even feel, I can barely even hear the sound of the wave there. I, I definitely even feel, I didn't, couldn't even feel the vibration for whatever the enclosure that was in on the ship there. 
And what's interesting was not just one tidal wave, it was a serious wave. So I, I have the, the first wave was the biggest one. And there's a serious uh, kind of the cascading wave that was hitting the ship as well. I don't know how long we were in this kind of uh, turbulence of, 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 of wave that hitting the ship. And all of a sudden, it stopped. And it was calm, was super calm. And, and just all of a sudden, silence. Then everybody kind of came out, right? Out of, out of hiding, out of safety. And everybody was on the top deck. And I can see at the horizon, we are seeing a landmass, almost like an island. A beautiful island, actually, that you can see at even at a distance, you can see. And we're not too far away from this island. So what does it mean, Kevin? What does it mean in this dream? I really feel the ship, usually when you see a large ship, like special cruise ship like that, it represents a large ministry. Or, or even maybe multiple network of ministry representing a move of God. And I really feel in this dream, this represents a move, a mighty move of God that the Lord is calling many unto. But only a few got on the boat. Only the few that heed the call for the move of God and got on the ship. Because it was many, not many. A cruise ship like that can easily fit thousands upon thousands of people. But only of, of hundreds of us, few hundreds of us got on the ship. So only a few of the remnant one that heed the call to what God wanted to do in this season, in this mighty move of God. And the color of it also represents, I feel the, the deep Royal Navy blue really represent the deep things the Lord's going to reveal, the powerful thing the Spirit of God's going to reveal, right? And that reminds me of a scripture of Daniel 2.2.2. And Daniel 2.2.2 represents, he said, I will reveal the deep and secret things because in him is light, is full of light. And then uh, the, even the, the, the gold trimming around the ship, I really I believe it represents the glory, the majesty, and, and the power of God that we're about to be seeing, we're about to see in this coming move. And also the red represents atonement by the blood of Jesus. That there's things that need to be atoned. The, the, it's gonna, it, the, the move of God is going to actually uh, 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 re release powerful deliverance and healing. And not even the ones we've seen, because we know we've seen a portion of deliverance and healing movement already, right, this past few years. But I believe this coming one is going to be so mighty, so great, like even beyond what we already seen there. Just the atonement of seeing the redemption for our iniquity and transgression by the blood of Jesus. And then, and I, I feel like many of what who are called has been anxious in this season for their, for their call. They, 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 they're anxious. They've been waiting upon the Lord. They heed the call. They obey the Lord. They got on the move. And they were, they were anxious. The Lord, when is when is my turn? When I can step in fully to the assignment? They're waiting for the room, right? And there seems nobody is taking us supposedly to the room. And the ship is operating on a skeleton crew. In this case, I believe the skeleton crew actually represent angels of the Lord. Represent angels that is assigned to help these forerunners and remnant to fulfill the assignment. And their time is coming. And all of a sudden, in, in the upper deck, I believe the Lord is going to take these remnant in this season. In, in the near future, the Lord is going to take them up, take them higher, so they can see what is going on around the Spirit. They're going to take these forerunners and pioneers up with the Lord. Right? We're joint air with Christ, seated in the heavenly places. And I feel like we're gonna give, they're going to give a sight on some of the spiritual warfare that's been going on. And all of them will be saved. Because I know every industry, everybody got sheltered. Right? Even what is impending. And even though it seems like it's going to topple the boat, it's going to destroy the boat. And these are massive tsunami that literally came over the boat. And these are, this is a giant cruise ship already. Right? This, imagine how massive the, the, the wave were. But none of it, even the, even after waves after wave, the ship withstand the attack of the enemy. The ship withstand it. It could not impede. It could not deter. It could not deviate the move of God that what the Lord is doing within his body on earth. Then all of a sudden, when everything calmed, when everything was calmed, the, the peace of God, the presence of His glory broke in, and everybody saw the promised land. They saw the land which the Lord promised them. 
according to Isaiah 61. And I really sense that we're coming to that time, in that season, in that hour, that for those remnant ones, though for those uh, pioneers and, and, uh, and forerunners has been faithful, hang on and trust the Lord. Focus on Him. He is the peace in the midst of the storm. Trust Him. Don't lock eye with Him. Don't gaze on everything else. Don't allow the enemy distract you to the right, to the left. Focus on the Lord. And He will see you through to enter into the promised land, which He has in store for, for you, for you, for those remnant, for those pioneer forerunners. So I hope I, I released this dream to you. I, I encourage you to pray into it. You always want to pray into it. Discern the Spirit. And see where's where's the application of the Lord in your life from this dream. Amen. God bless you. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.